Alright, so I'm sure you're all aware by now that there's a brand new Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 trailer out right now. It just dropped earlier this week, and of course, it's fantastic. It's colorful, it's fun, and it has a good balance of showing just enough to get the audience's attention without giving away too much. Like, for instance, the surprise appearance of Kurt Russell's Ego the Living Planet at the end of the trailer. Only, he's not so planet-like here, which is apparently throwing a lot of people off. I've been seeing a bunch of confusion in a bunch of different comments and tweets from people who saw the new trailer, and were either confused because Kurt Russell isn't a giant purple planet with rock and facial hair, or because they think he either isn't a planet or won't take on the appearance of a ginormous planet at any point in the movie. So let's break this down and talk some comics history to sort this whole thing out. First things first, let's answer why Ego looks like this instead of like this, and how he was even able to make this at all. Well, the reasoning is in his comic book power set, specifically his ability to manipulate his own matter. See, in the comics, Ego can control his matter down to the molecules. It's how he's able to look like he does. He's able to change his surface and form anything he wants. Even stuff like a mouth, eyes, a nose, and facial hair hair for whatever reason, in order to communicate better with smaller creatures visiting him. He can even control it on a smaller scale, to the point where Ego can create humanoid looking drones or avatars that he can control and implant his consciousness into. Like back in the pages of Thor issue number 161, where the God of Thunder helped protect Ego from the world devourer known as Galactus, and after Galactus leaves, Ego forms a human shape on his surface and thanks Thor for helping him. We later see him do it again in Fantastic Four issue number 235, when Ego responds to the titular team messing around with machinery on his surface by taking the form of a gigantic human humanoid looking figure and threatening to unleash his wrath on them for doing so. Now obviously we haven't heard anything about this being a thing in the movies, except no, wait, we have. We've actually gotten confirmation of the MCU Ego's matter manipulation abilities twice so far. One time was from James Gunn in an Instagram post featuring Ego's Funko figurine, where he states that the toy is a representation of Ego's human form. The fact that he had to specify that this was the human form, that ought to set some bells off for somebody. The other time actually happened in the footage shown at Comic-Con back in July. Apparently there was a scene in the Comic-Con footage with the Guardians meeting Ego for the first time, and Ego mentions not only that he chose to take on a human form in order to speak to them, but also that he was curious about people in the past and decided to make himself a human body in order to live among them and see what's going on. There's even an exchange between Ego and Drax, with the latter asking if the former made himself all the, uh, shall we say, functional bits and pieces needed in order to make a baby Star-Lord, and Ego confirms it. So there you go, matter manipulation confirmed. But let's go back to the second issue, where a lot of people were convinced that Ego won't be shown as a planet in this movie, he'll just look like space Kurt Russell or something the whole time. Some people are even saying he's not going to be a planet at all. He's just a cosmic humanoid entity. Now this is the part where I'm getting thrown off a little bit. Like how do you come to the conclusion that Ego, a guy with the phrase the living planet in his name, won't be shown in a planet form at all? I mean there's an overwhelming amount of evidence that not only proves that Ego is a planet, but that we'll actually be seeing his planet form in this movie. First off, let's take a look at some of James Gunn's comments over the past few months. Because he's constantly referring to Ego as a planet every time he talks about the character. Like here, just just after they showed the footage at Comic-Con, and he posts on Facebook confirming that Ego is Star-Lord's dad. He states, yeah, his dad is a planet. Sort of. It'll all be explained in the film. To be fair, that does sound a little bit vague, like they'll acknowledge the fact that Ego's a planet, but they won't actually show us that he's a planet on screen. But later on, he did an interview with io9 stating, This is really about the relationship between Star-Lord and his father, who happens to be a living planet, and his other father, Yondu, who is an abusive jerk. It's about the dysfunctional family triad that those three characters have. That's the center of the movie. Again, not too specific about whether or not we'll actually see a mustachioed planet on screen, but for this one, you gotta read between the lines a little bit. Like, if you're to bring up the family dynamic and talk about how it's going to be shown as dysfunctional in the movie, that means you're going to have to show why it's so dysfunctional. And a big part of that dysfunctionality is the question of why it's so odd that a Kurt Russell looking guy is Star-Lord's dad. Really the only way to answer that is to show us that the Kurt Russell looking guy is actually a Kurt Russell looking planet. Plus, I really don't think James Gunn or Marvel would want to miss an opportunity to show Ego in his true form and kind of hammer in the idea that Star-Lord's dad is actually a talking planet. And then there's stuff like what we've seen so far in the trailer like this shot here. Some of you who follow me on Instagram, shameless plug moment by the way, follow me at Comics vs. World, might remember seeing this picture where I made the claim that this was our first look at Ego's planet form. And that wasn't technically right, I mean I didn't really offer up anything else to back up that statement and it was kind of vague, but thankfully out of the 16 of you who looked at that post, nobody called me out on it. So let me clarify what I meant. This right here is the inside of Ego's planet form. See, in the comics, Ego isn't just a talking planet. He has an entire inner body structure that works a lot like a person's. He has a 
heart, a brain, antibodies, all that good stuff. And that's what I think we're looking at here in this scene. Sure, you can argue this is maybe just something out in space, kind of like nowhere, but there's a couple of things here that don't really add up to that conclusion. Like all these things, just anchoring that red ball in the center of wherever the scene is taking place. Why would that ball need to be there if this is set out in space? Why would it need all that support? Plus, what do you see back there? Looks like walls, right? Or some kind of physical barrier surrounding this ball thing. And in the trailer, we see both Star-Lord and Rocket flying around on rocket packs, but Rocket isn't wearing a mask. Remember, he's still a land-based creature. He needs air like everybody else. So if they're in space, why wouldn't he have a mask on too? It just makes more sense to me that this is maybe Ego's brain or something, and the Guardians are trying to protect it from somebody. We don't know yet. And there you have it, guys. That's my take on why Ego has a human form and why we're going to see his planet form in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. If you agreed with anything I mentioned in this video, or maybe you have your own theories about some of the things I talked about, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to click that like button, maybe leave me a comment while you're at it, and go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out any of my social media pages. I've got a Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. All those links are going to be in the description below. And I've also got my last video right there in the middle of your screen. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and click it, check it out. All right, and I will see you all next time.